here we go this is the uh, video on dense packing cellulose insulation with the uh, a leaf blower mulcher back and this is the works W509 TriVac multi-stage and this can perform at 210 miles per hour at 350 cubic feet per minute and I was told by David Paz that this should work if I do it right and it works um, I believe it works quite well I have existing insulation in the wall which is only about a half or a quarter inch thick but I'm going behind that and it's faced so that may act as a vapor barrier to the outside and then there's fiberboard sheathing on the outside so I don't have a cavity the standard size but so far with what I've done I have two holes over there two over here so six holes seven holes altogether filled and I've used uh, three bags which are 19 pounds a bag here is a, a tote that I just cut and I use duct tape to um, hold it onto the uh, tub and then I cut hole for it to fit into there just enough so it can't fall out and what I have here is half of the hole is covered so when feeding the uh, insulation in it won't clog up immediately it allows an airspace and that seems to be working really well you don't even have to break this stuff up really tiny just small enough to get it in this hole and I have this as a support right now just to hold it so it doesn't kink I don't have the proper clear hose here uh, this is supposed to be like Tiger Flex but I can't afford that kind of hose so to do with what I got and this is just a clear tube I made a cone of so that I could see if it would clog. Haven't had any problems with clogging with what I'm using. And it cost me about 40 bucks for the hose. Another $10 in uh, adapters and clamps. But other than that, it's been fairly reasonable. When you buy quantity of cellulose, you can usually get a deal so I got a, a far better deal buying a hundred bags versus the 50 I may have needed um, when you're blowing the insulation I used a rag but it had a tendency to if you didn't have your hand completely around it it would blow out all over the place so I'm going to try this it's just some uh, gardening fabric as a weed block and I'm hoping that should up, allow enough air pressure to come out without blowing stuff everywhere. If I put a hole in the next cavity, the air pressure will go into that cavity and release there. But when I get to a point over by, say, the window where I won't have another open cavity to release pressure, it will um, be a little harder to blow in there. So I may adapt this to work better, but I only have one person to help me on Sundays, so I have a whole week to wait to do it again. But so far it's done quite well. Um, the last little bit I'll pack in there by hand, but as you can see this is, you know, this is pretty tight. I'm really pressing in here, you know. That's Put some more in there it looks like yep that's uh pretty good this one is, this one is really good that's uh pretty good of course if it was a clean cavity it would uh blow in much better but and a better hose this is what I've done so far. Six holes, seven holes, and they're not, those are smaller cavities, but I used 
three whole bags at 19 pounds a bag, the green fiber. And These are the bags. That's what they look like. So there you have it. Instead of paying $6,500 for a Intec Force 2 blower, and then maybe another couple hundred out, three hundred dollars for the hoses, I'm. I've got this working for uh, less than two hundred dollars. So if this can help any, if this video can help anybody, just let me know. Your comments are welcome.